Hi, I'm Lexi, a yoga instructor with the Wilmington Yoga Center. So summer's here. You're going to be hitting the waves a lot more surfing. We're here today to show you six postures uh, for surfers. This is going to help to strengthen the body, open the muscles, and prepare you for a great surf. This is JJ, another teacher here at the center. Let's go ahead and get started. So we're going to start with eagle arms. Go ahead and inhale, draw the arms out and up. As you exhale, sweep the hands down and draw the right elbow underneath the left. Let the front or back of the palms meet. Now as you inhale, draw the shoulders up and sink the shoulder blades down. You're going to spend a few breaths here. This is going to help open the back muscles and the shoulders up. Nice big inhale. Now exhale, release the hands, draw them out and up one more time. And exhale, bring the hands down. This time you're going to draw the left elbow underneath the right. Let the palms meet. As you inhale, draw the elbows up, sink the shoulder blades down. Go ahead and enjoy this posture for a few more breaths. Lengthening through the shoulders, keeping that core strong. And exhale, unravel. Coming into our second posture, Malasana, squat pose. Go ahead and separate the feet a little wider than hip distance. Maybe the toes turn out a bit. And from here, you're going to sink down, bring those sit bones towards the floor, bending those knees nice and deep. Let the arms come inside the legs. Palms are pressing firmly. Now, if your heels are lifted like JJ's, roll up your beach towel. Take it underneath the heels. This will help you ground down, finding some stability. Go ahead and sink those heels down, JJ. Good. Now pressing the elbows into the knees, knees back into the elbows. We're going to find a nice long spine here. Soften the shoulders. Draw the front of the chest through. Deep breaths. We're opening the hip muscles. This is going to help prepare you for when you're sitting on the board waiting for that next wave. I'm going to remove the towel out from underneath his heels. And we're going to come into our third posture. Stepping back into plank. We're going to hold our plank pose for a moment and then go into Chaturanga Dandasana. In plank pose, you're strengthening the core. You're strengthening the triceps, the arms. Keep that gaze ahead of the fingertips so the neck stays in line with the spine. Energy shooting out the heels and the crown of the head. Hold this for about 10 to 30 seconds, maybe even 60. And then slowly lower down, keeping those elbows in towards the side body. We're trying to maintain a 90 degree angle here in the arms. Elbows are staying in line with the body. You can hold here to build core strength and heat. When you're ready, release down to the floor. Untucking the toes, we're going to come into locust pose. Draw the hands back behind you. Now on a strong inhale, lift the legs, lift the chest, lift the arms. We're going to strengthen all of the muscles of the back body here. Great for paddling, great for checking the waves behind you. Take a few deep breaths here. On each inhale, float the body up. As you exhale, hug into center. And then release on down. Coming into Navasana, boat pose. To start with boat pose, this is a really intense posture on the core and the hip flexors. So to start, bring your hands down by your sides, just fingertips or palms. We really want to try to keep an upright spine here. Now float the feet up. Maybe trying to keep those heels in line with the knees. Squeeze those inner thighs together. Now, if the hands are down on the floor, pull the hands back and let the chest reach forward so the spine stays long, neck is long. The next phase of this pose would be floating the hands up, again, strengthening the core. And if you'd like to come into the full expression, maybe the arms and the legs straighten. Beautiful. Come on down. We're going to come into happy baby. So hug the knees into the chest and find the outer edges of the feet. Draw the knees towards the armpits. Keep that tailbone reaching long towards the floor. It might feel good to rock side to side here. Let's move into a twist. Bringing the knees together. Tee the arms out nice and wide and float the knees right over the hips. Let the heels be in line with the knees. Take a deep inhale. And exhale, release the legs to the right. The vision can go over the left shoulder here. Now just let go of all effort. Really enjoy the passive twist. And inhale, draw the legs back to center. And as you exhale, allow the legs to fall to the left. 
taking the gaze over the right shoulder. Releasing, breathing. And then inhale, use your core to draw the legs to center. Give yourself a little squeeze inward. And you can rock and roll coming up to your mat and you are set to surf. Enjoy. So thanks again for joining us. I'm Lexi from the Wilmington Yoga Center. Take some time to explore our website and even pop in for a class or two. Have a great surf this summer. Namaste.